idea behind replace was I wanted to find some subtree, some sub expression, and replace that sub expression with another one that comes from somewhere. What would be the analogy for the list? Some, some spot in the, the list. And then it's a here. And then swap that out for a different one. So in other words, make this point to some other list. So is replace something that all the nodes have to do? Say we identify this node here as the one that's going to be replaced. What what happens here? Does it? How, how do we get it so that it looks like this picture? You won't have that. You can set the next of the parent. Ah, uh, you need to set the next of the parent. modify what it means to replace, we can identify a node and say, this is not the one that's, that's going to get replaced. It's going to be what it points to. So this is the one that's doing the replacing. It's next. We'll point to the new thing. That's a lot easier to do. Because now I don't have to keep track of the one before me. I just say, identify one of these and then just replace it. Replace whatever it points to. So replace its tail with a new list. Is that okay? Um, uh, okay, let's try it out. So I need to do replace. Will replace return anything? You know you say no? Why not? Am I going to get back a new list? Daniel says yes. Why am I going to get back a new list? Because we're replacing. With some other so, random item. But are you actually returning it? So, so who am I? Who am I asking to do the replacement? Who do I? Remember, if I, if I have A here. A points to this thing here. Who am I going to invoke replace on? I think the clone of A. Well, let's assume it's already been cloned. Okay, then just A. So we're going to we're going to go A dot replace. And the question is, is is the list that comes back from A is it going to be different than what it was before? Yes. How so? Is, is, is the thing that A is pointing to going to be different than what it was before? No. no, because the head will never replace itself. The head is never going to swap itself out for another one. It's only going to be this one here. So when this is when we replace and we say ask A to replace, um, the only the, the the worst that could probably ha happen is that this points to something else, but this hasn't changed. So it means. From the point of view of what A points to, that's not going to be changing. So the values are changing, but the memory location stays the same. In the, 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 the thing that A points to yeah. is not going to be changing. Like when we did A.add, <coughs> in that case, we did have to return the new list because, in fact, A should now be pointing to the, the new thing, the thing that's in the front. But now the thing in the front is not changing. 
just like with mutate, although we're ending up with different values in there, the thing that A points to, the head, is not changing. It's still the same node it was before. So for replace, I think Ian is right, it shouldn't, it shouldn't return anything because we're not swapping this out. We're not making the list, uh, we're not, from, from the point of view of here, we're not changing where the, the head is. We're only changing the tail. And then, does replace need an input? Isn't it? Where? Where? And what? And what? So the where is how far into the list? And what kind? Like, which one? Yeah. Could be, yeah. Yeah. So, so do we want the first one, the second one, the third one? And then, that's the where. And then the what is what to replace it with, which is another list. So we go int. Location and list placement. Okay, what does an empty list do? Remains empty. Nothing, right? Yeah. That was easy. What does a singleton do? Nothing. It's a singleton being at the end, but there's, there's no tail for it to replace. If I go a dot replace <coughs> zero comma b, where b is this new list over here, what should happen? We'll attach b onto zero. Set the next of zero to b. And who is zero? Uh, the location. The location. The head. Um, <coughs> current node. The current node. So the current node, which, which happens to be this one here, should replace its next with B. Mm -hmm. So we should end basically with this, this picture. Okay. What if we did A dot replace one comma B? No, replace one's next with with B. So how does this node replace one's next? So changing node number one, asking node number zero to change node number one is the same as asking the next one to change node number zero. Let me do another example. Let's A dot replace two company. So I'm asking A, which is the first one, to replace number two. How does it do that? It asks the next node to replace which one? Number one. And number one asks the next node to replace number zero. So, so it, essentially it's going to count down. And when it hits zero, that's the one that does the replacement. Essentially, how we uh, did we do? Yeah. How we did get? Right? Same, same thing as, yeah. as what we did for get. So we can say if the location is zero. So we don't return anything. Next. Next.
concentration minus one to one. Uh -huh. There we go. So if the location is zero, it means I'm the one that's going to be doing the replacement. So I'll replace my next with the replacement. And if it's not zero, I'm just going to ask the next guy to do the replacement, but I'm going to subtract one, so eventually it'll get to zero. If we have a big, long list here, 100 things in it, and I go A dot replace, 20, comma B, we're going to call replace on the next, but with 19. That one's going to call it, but with 18. That one's going to call it with 17. And so it's going to pass it down the chain, and when it finally gets to zero, that's the one that goes to replacement. Take a picture, Brad. <laughs> oh, I'm recording. Place one, comma, B. What should two string on A give us back? Twenty. Yeah, because we went up for one. We went up for one. That's why you didn't raise your hand? Yeah. Oh, good. Because it was none of the above. Yes. Uh, has B changed? Okay, so let's remember a funky list. What's the difference between funky list and list? Randoms, right? So funky list makes random lists, and there's also another difference, which is um, when we did things like add, we didn't have to worry about storing it back into the same variable. It handles that for us. Same thing with remove. So let's do a lit void mutate. Mutate. Now should a funky list mutate?
the mat. Mutate. Uh, what, what percent chance? Fifty percent chance. Does it look like about half of them changed? Mm -hmm. The first one changed. The second one was the same. Third is the same. Fourth, fifth. Three of them. Three of them. Well, I think we did this a few more times. So some of it will be less than half, some of it will be more than half, but it should average out to be about half. How do we do a replace? Location? Location, so maybe four? Just replace it with a funky list. Yeah, let's just replace it with a funky list. Make funky list a list. Yeah. Can you do that? New list A equals funky. Well, why don't, why don't we change this so that this takes in? Oh, can we do that? Funky list? Funky list is right there. Wouldn't, wouldn't it have to be a funky list in the list interface too? Yeah, I don't mess with it. Oh, well, this isn't uh, part of the list interface though, list? right? Turn a new one of ourselves, new, a new object that's ourselves, and then what gets passed into the constructor is a clone of our of our list. So we're going to make a new funky list wrapper, clone the list that we contain, and then pass that in as the argument. And then my answer for you, Tyler, is we're going to have a new.
returns the internal list that's inside this. Okay, so now we can do this. And what do we put here? place on a list, so we're going to call it get dot get list here. Okay, so the, so the funky list we're passing in, we retrieve its list and pass that into a place. same up to number five, and then it's different. <laughs> I like that. Then you're going to go to f.mutate. 50% chance. So we'll find a random spot in the list and swap it in with a new random list. That, that, but when we do it randomly, sometimes when you do it randomly, nothing happens. Pretty cool. Mutate with a 50% chance. <coughs> okay, so half of it's changed. Mm -hmm. And then we can go f.replace. That will do the same random thing here. But replace it with. Somewhere embedded inside of F is a mutation of itself. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so, so it itself, but with, with half of them changed. That was a little incestuous. <laughs> we could do things like 
without even, we could go F dot replace, we're doing the same random thing here. But instead of replacing with G, we'll go, we'll do replace it with F dot UT. So the last thing I want to do for this is let's call this public list um, random uh, random random list. So the idea here is that when call random list on a list, it returns a random piece of itself. The idea is, well, over here, we want to identify some random spot in this expression and just return that and use that as the thing that we want to replace into another one. But it's the, it's the whole rest of the list. Right. It's center section. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's from like this point forward. But you can't, we haven't figured out how to pull out the middle and use that. All we know is we just return the address of this one. Right, right, right. Yeah. So how does an empty return a random list? Nothing? So if I was to ask a, a list with just one item, return a random list, it really has no choice but to return itself. Because there is only one list, there is only one subset of itself that it could return. So you return. <coughs> of yourself. Which one's better? Return myself or a copy of myself? Myself. Yourself. <laughs> so, can you think of a situation where it would be better to just return a copy of myself? Uh, if you want to keep the previous thing separate. So, so let's say um, the caller asks for a random list and you return a copy of yourself. And then the caller mutates that that thing. What's going to happen? You change it. Change the, the clone. clone. If I return myself, and then the caller mutates, change the he, he gets changed. So which is better? Return a clone. So that way myself doesn't get affected. So I'm going to return clone. Well, it's more explicit by saying return this dot clone. So I'm, I'm going to return a clone of myself. So, so 
I'm going to ask A here to return some random portion of itself, um, a random tail. So either it's going to return itself, or a clone of itself, or it's going to ask the next one to return a random list. And that one will either return a clone of itself or you could just do pass it down. Maybe replace, or well, you could do replace with everything random, and and the list replacement is just a random list. So I'm not returning a, a, a list with random numbers in it. I'm returning a random a piece, of it. piece of itself. Yeah. Sounds? Yeah. Yeah. So like, if I so, uh, if I might uh, pocket here like a whole bunch of coins or buttons or something like that, and you say just give me a random like subset of that, and I will pick out three of them from here, um, or a copy of them I should say. <laughs> um, but I'm not changing the, the buttons themselves. I'm just giving you a random set of them. Okay. So in this case, I'm giving you uh, a random piece of myself. So what a compound needs to do is roll the dice. And it's either going to return itself or the next one. The clone of the next one. Ask the next one to return a random. So we're going to roll the dice. If ask.random. So let's then let's give it a 50% chance. Return this.clone. Else return. Do you want to do a set percentage on that, or do you want to just do chance? Do it. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. So, so what we're going to do is there's a fifty percent chance we'll get the whole list. Yeah. Or well, this one will have a fifty percent chance of returning itself or something else, something down the road. This one will have a fifty percent chance of returning itself or something down for, further down. So on average, how long is the list going to get back? On average, the size of the oh, so there's, there's a 50 percent chance of getting the whole thing, right? And there's a fifty percent chance of getting something shorter. So what's the chance of getting one that? If we start with four, one there's four. a fifty percent chance of getting one that's four. What's the chance of getting one that's three? 25%. What's the chance of getting one that's two? 5%. Half of that one, right? 12 and a half. And then 0.125 finishes out that one. So, do we want it to be an even percentage throughout, or do we want it to actually be increasing like that? If we want it to be 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25. Then we're going to have to do something by passing in a chance and adjusting that number as it goes. Um, or actually, we can do it where each one, each one, we have a size, right? So each each node knows how big it is. This one knows that it's four, so it can just take the reciprocal of that. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And that becomes the percentage. What would be the advantage of doing that? I mean, so there's a 25 percent chance that we'll get the whole list. Yeah. 25 percent chance we'll get one of three. A 25 percent chance we'll get one of two, and a 25 percent chance we'll get one of one. So it spreads the the uh, probabilities out. Even. Well, I guess what I'm saying is, what 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 is this going to be used for in the grand scheme of things? Oh, so so we might have. So we're going to generate this random robot here. Yeah. And then we want to take some portion of that robot and replace it with some other um, okay. random thing. And so, so one way we might do it is we might take two robots, find a random point here, find a random point here, and pull this one out and stick it here. So you're going to want the changes, though, to be 
minimal if it's really close to the point that it's trying to get to, but if it's far away, then you might want the changes to be more extreme. Uh, you mean here? Yeah. But that's, that's as time goes on. Yeah. This is just uh, identifying some point in the tree. So the question is, do we want it to, if we start at the top of the tree here, and we do it the way we just had there on the board, there'd be like a 50% a chance that we'll replace the entire subtree. <laughs> if we go down one level, there's a one quarter chance that we'll replace that. Yeah, I think if it's gonna, if it's gonna change, we wanna decrease it. It's, or I increase it if it's smaller. We want more chances for smaller trees. We don't want giant growth like that. So we don't want, we don't want this one to flip a, a two-sided coin and say there's a 50% chance it's going to be itself or something below. We want this to be like there's a 10% chance it's this one, because there's 10 things all together in there. You like that one? So that means the percentage, the, the chance has to be figured out as we go. So we have to flip this around to the other one, which is it's the reciprocal one divided by size. So the size for this one is 4, so there will be a 1 quarter chance it will pick itself. Hmm. We've got a problem here. The end one oh. is guaranteed. What? The end one is guaranteed. That's what we want, actually, I think. We really want something. We do want something to come back, and actually the singleton is always going to return itself anyway. Yeah, I don't think you won't have a chance where you're going to replace something and you get nothing. So you so that means there's a quarter chance here. There's a one third chance on this one because the size for this one is three. Is three. There's a one half chance on this one, and there's a one chance on this one. Is that, is that what we want? Because if this one was a one quarter chance, make it what's if it's one. It's there, there's a three quarter chance that it should return nothing. Yeah. That's not what we want. So we actually do want, like you said the chances to be going up as we go down, as we go further down. So the chances that we're going to pick that particular point is, is increasing as we go. Rather than decreasing like we had before. Get back some piece of that list. 